fantastic writer. Well, Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. It's been really exciting, but I also know the format. And the format says we'll talk about it later. But so and I get it. And I know in the control. Like, like, the format of the book. Right. Yes. I know. Later. So I We're going to do, do the that. news. Yes, I know. Thank Welcome. you. I'm trying to show some discipline. And to the to the Democrats' favor. Can I just quickly right. say that it isn't business as usual to withhold military aid from a Democratic ally to do an investigation for personal benefit. That is an abuse of the office. It's actually bribery, which now Democrats are... Rush Limbaugh asks or says, do the Democrats want it too much? Well, we read the transcript from behind closed doors. It's almost like the pregame show. So all the interviews we got out, we found out whatever... That, because everything else seems so scripted. Adam Schiff comes out in the end of August. I got some problems with the whistleblower. We got to talk to the whistleblower. Then all these people fall into place as if it was a Hollywood script. You've been watching too much WeTV. <laughs> those those Matt Lock reruns. Right. I mean, I, I'm just looking. Game was the actual call record that the president handed out. I thought we all had the pregame. Well, that was before anybody even yeah. started testifying. Yeah, I think. Um you know, you did, but I'm afraid that, for Republicans. But, yeah. but you talk about that disappointment. Mm -hmm. Remember, Democrats were so thirsty for Bob Mueller to give a dramatic reading of his own report. Um, we didn't get that. In fact, he didn't even really take questions that took us any deeper than whatever was on that page. Like, it, it just didn't happen. So Brian may have hit upon something here with this is great for Republicans if there's actually no Cirque du Soleil there. Well, there are multiple witnesses here. So you're right that Bob Mueller's testimony was a little bit more monotone and certainly reserved. And he had been clear going in that he monotone. Really there was nothing. I mean, he just basically well, read what was written. Right. In like of static voice. And there was no real drama to it. Now, I believe that the Intel Committee questioning revealed a lot more of that. That's when we talked about the 10, 11 potential counts of obstruction of justice if the OLC guidelines had been different. But what's going to be different about what this investigation is we have multiple witnesses. So let's say Marie Ivanovich isn't that compelling. Maybe Bill Taylor is, or Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, or George Kent. You know, it'd be so, really cool if the facts were that compelling. I, I find that. And I don't compelling. know what will happen, but I'm just saying rather than having a bevy of actors and, and waiting for that, to, that the facts. Remember, right. we have another letter. The president's going to come out with another Scott phone call. Got a second transcript. He tweeted about that. Okay. Former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patton. I think that they see weakness. We see a guy that can't go more than 10, 12 minutes Which and put two or three sentences together. Did you watch his town hall last night? Because he watched. went over an hour and he was wonderful. Well, I mean, he connected. Was he challenged? I mean, he got tough questions. I thought, so, I mean. So it, look, I, I, I don't want to say that it's a Rorschach and we see different things. At about 10 before the hour, and they had another 20 minutes or so, because I think it went to 10, 15 p.m. Did. Eastern. Um, I, I did see a slowdown, and I saw a little less connection with Joe Biden, where he really was a shining star, was answering the questions about his own grief. And it has to be exhausting to emote like that. I think he reached people on health care in that audience. I mean, to be fair, as you're watching, but I did see kind of a, a drawback at that point. I don't know why. I'm just giving you my observation as I want, Can I go back, Emily, I want to go back to Jessica. They're making sure the little things will not change that city, will make it worse. Jessica? Well, people have made a lot of arguments against broken windows policing and that a lot of what, quote unquote, cleaned up New York was actually racist. So I... I think that what's going I on not, in San I've not heard that. Really? Not heard that. All yeah, I saw there was, was New York get better, and it was okay to bring a radio and leave with the car you came with. It's not. And it's, not it was it part blocks. of a, a larger yeah. plan that Emily, led to. I want to get your voice in here. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's really interesting. Look, I'm from the Bay Area, as we know, and. Uh, Action on that. I half agree with Bernie Sanders, which is a, a high percentage for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what's happening in the Democratic Party right now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll move on. A student-run newspaper at a top university. President Giuliani didn't get in until Florida when he decided to run, and it was a disaster. de Blasio was an abject fake. friend of Barack Obama, former president, was thinking about getting in, even though he said he wouldn't in 2018. Remember that? Exactly. I immediately went back to when President Obama said, does he White take majority, away the black very, very vote well. potentially from oh, Joe Biden? I think if he gets in. I think the problem is that he didn't. Oh, know. I was watching so and so, and it, so when Amy Klobuchar says, you know, how can you say that about all the other candidates that you know best? You get in. That's I'm paraphrasing what she said, but she does have a point. I mean, how do they take a look at the whole pack and say, none of you? It'll be me. I think unless Biden, him or his staff, and I understand what you're saying in terms of immunity, but how much? Does that mean that this process has less legitimacy, perhaps, in the public's eyes? Well, on the one hand, I mean, again, this is a process argument, and we're now well familiar with everybody at the, at the founding understood what 
treason, bribery, or other high crime and misdemeanor constituted, and bribery was a well understood concept at the time, just as extortion is, and it still requires proof of a quid pro quo, no matter how you look at it. And it did under the common law. Wow. Okay. Tomorrow, the public hearings start. We'll all be watching. The big shebang. The big shebang. Uh, Robert Ray, thank you. Thanks Good very to much. See you. A new poll has Joe Biden leading the field and a keep. If you don't like people with big egos, you're, gonna, you're not going to like a lot of the candidates. That so does this office. mean that women don't like themselves? I think the problem is that. A I spoke for you because I know you say yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> there were reports of big buzz over Acacia Cortez. Being president, you know what? look at the difference between when Bernie Sanders ran and you had the DNC pressing up against him because yep. that wasn't necessarily who moderate Democrats wanted. And then a few weeks ago at a Democratic debate, you stole my blank platform. I mean, the party has changed moderate in four years. Democrats, maybe it changes it again. Do, moderate Democrats became Trump Republicans, particularly in the Rust Belt states. And they're I, snapping at me. You can probably hear that. It's not because they want me to do a dance move. I got to go. Thank Bye. you. Here's Dana.